back again at the Vector Technology Days 2019 and of course there is no automotive engineering exhibition without a good test drive but to be honest the venue was a bit too small to put a real test drive in it so what my colleagues did is they virtualized the complete test drive and let you have a ride with a bike and an oculus rift Tobias Oeser, Senior Simulation Consultant for Virtual Test Driving. How is virtual test driving used here at your booth? We have virtual vehicles to perform virtual test drives. So we have models for vehicles behavior, driver behavior and also environment. In our example here we have a virtual truck which is equipped with an autonomous emergency braking function and also a turning assist to protect pedestrians and cyclists. And we have included a real e-bike here so that uh, a cyclist can experience the scene also using VR glasses. I thought test and stimulation of ECUs is already possible with Canoe. So why do you combine it with Dyna 4? It is possible in Canoe, but uh, consider that a cyclist uh, can drive with a different speed and so it, he can influence the scene. That means that the truck, for example, can be forced to do an emergency braking or there might not be any braking at all necessary. In any case, we need to um, consider the entire vehicle's behavior. If you think about an emergency braking, was there a collision or was there no collision? That has to be considered. Also, vehicle stability influences. If there's an autonomous emergency braking, is the vehicle still on the road or is it leaving the road? This is um, only possible with closed loop behavior. And this is increasingly important if you think about uh, autonomous driving. You just mentioned automated driving, automated systems. How exactly do you support the development of, of autonomous driving? As everybody who is involved in autonomous driving will answer, autonomous driving is an easy task or a rather simple task if you think about driving on a straight road with just one vehicle. In reality, we will have complex environment, we will have many road users and we need to detect their movement through the sensors in the vehicle. So we in Dana 4 provide models to recreate static and dynamic scenes and also perceive them with the individual sensor models. That's a key technology for, um, for testing autonomous driving because there are millions of test kilometers necessary and you can't do this with real vehicles. So autonomous or not, uh, on a bike or uh, in a car, virtual test driving is really important for building and developing the future of mobility. So thank you Tobias and we have more to see on the Vector YouTube channel of course. Scroll through and find some exclusive content from the Vector Technology Days 2019. Uh, and of course you find all about us and all the tools and all the solutions from Vector on the website vector.com. So see you there.